天要去上海的南外滩，与澳洲苏禄酒业的 s a r a 师见面。他要为我介绍一款非常特殊的澳洲葡萄酒，据说与歌剧有关。我非常期待。s a r a 你好，很高兴见到你，在上海。我是为了来见你，特意飞过来的。啊<笑>受受宠若惊，<笑>因为 Matt 邀请了我两个月了。哇，真的呀、啊！我要感谢 Matt。<笑>然后呢，我知道你今天给我们带了很很棒很棒的澳大利亚葡萄酒啊啊！不过呢，先还是了解一下澳大利亚葡萄酒一个概况吧。澳洲的那个主要的产酒区有有哪些呢？澳大利亚的葡萄酒产区有很多，主要是分布在嗯<笑>东南澳，还有南澳，还有塔斯马尼亚。那么南澳来讲的话，巴罗萨酒谷，还有那个、嗯呃、麦克拉伦谷，嗯，还有库纳瓦拉都非常著名，嗯。然后维多利亚州的亚拉谷是我最啊、呃、青睐的一个，哦、因为它离我家，对对对，离家很近，对对对，因为我开车过去差不多就是一个小时。嗯，亚拉瓦尼亚拉谷在墨尔本的北部。对吧？啊、嗯，对，在墨尔本的正北部。哦，那 Yarra Valley 它的酒有什么特点呢？嗯， Yarra Valley 其实是以出产那个顶级的霞多丽和黑比诺，还有那个希拉为著名的，尤其是黑比诺，黑比诺顶级的黑比诺以及霞多丽非常著名。那么，像德保利酒庄，它在亚拉谷是规模最大的一个酒庄之一，在亚尔湾。对，那实际上从那个 technical 角度来讲呢，就是说，它在澳洲呢是属于十大啊、呃、葡萄酒的家族之一，嗯，排名估计应该是在前五位吧。Okay, 嗯嗯。对，德保利的酒庄呢，它在我们澳大利亚呢，它的葡萄园遍布在啊、呃、Hunt Valley， 就是新南威尔士州的那个猎人谷。然后还有，嗯 ，King Valley 是维多利亚州的国王谷，还有就是我们的亚拉 Valley。今天我想跟你分享一下，呃，亚拉谷的一套，呃，非常，啊、呃，我自己是最最喜欢的一个系列、嗯，因为我特别喜欢它那个酒标。他那个酒标非常具有艺术气息，<笑><笑>这歌剧哈、啊、还非常有名。对他这个歌剧呢，普契尼那个啊,啊，歌剧的最著名的一个剧作之一。嗯，然后我想给你看一下，哎哎，给我看一下啊，嗯、我看到名字的，他有一个名字。它也叫《波西米亚生活》嗯。嗯、呃、它其实就是描述的是当初十九世纪中后期，啊、呃、那个年代的啊、呃、青年艺术家们的一种在巴黎生活，在巴黎、呃、生活精神状态、嗯。啊，这个特别古典。嗯，对，它一共是分四幕。嗯、这个这部歌剧有四幕，所以说它这款酒也有四款，对吧？对，对，没错、嗯。这个酒一共是。根据那个呃德保利酒庄的主人呢，他根据呢那个年代十九世纪中后期，澳大利亚有一个很著名的呃女高音歌剧家，她的名字叫呃 Dan Mary Melba， 她就是出生并且成长于那个呃亚拉维利，那、嗯、么、嗯、就是正好跟我们这个酒的那个酿造呃种植葡萄园的地方是在一起的。德保利酒庄主人呢，为了纪念她，然后我们就选择了这个剧作里面的那个剧照。就剧照里面的那个造型，哦、嗯嗯，然后设计这个酒标，它有故事有背景，对啊，并且酒标特别典雅啊优雅啊，对，然后和这个歌剧艺术联系在一起。因为其实我一直认为，呃，西方的红葡萄酒文化它是有很很长很长历史很渊源了。那相对而言，举个例子来讲，我们中国那个茶文化，嗯，也很历史悠久、嗯。其实葡萄酒文化跟茶文化。相比而言，其实他们有相似的地方。嗯，相似的地方，它就是体现在，啊、嗯呃，你一定要是具备天时、地利、人和，嗯，三个境界全部都达到，你才能出佳作。所以，它这个文化如果能够被中国更多的消费者能够解，体会到这种快乐的话。嗯嗯嗯嗯我会很快乐、啊，说的太好了。<笑>你这样一说，以后让我喝葡萄酒的时候，我的那个感受就会多层次的，多层次。<笑>说的我都想喝了，<笑><笑>快流口水了。<笑>是不是我们要开开一瓶还是开四瓶呢<笑> ？Hi Matt. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Yeah. Right. Our old friend. Last time、uh, we met、uh, was on our show, and we had Cantonese food,、uh, Peking duck, and the Sichuan hot pot within the same day. I think every day should be, <laughs> that. be great. I'm here with one of our favorite partners, 
Sarah from Sulu, and Sarah represents some really interesting wines from us. And as you girls have been talking about, today is mostly about the Labo M range. It's a really fun range from us. It's really exciting. It's one of the fastest growing in Australia, and it's just got some beautiful new interpretations of yeah, what wine yeah, is yeah, in yeah. our region. Yeah, so exciting, even looking at the label. Mm, well, that's right. It's elegant. a beautiful, mm. it is elegant. I mm. guess that's what we're really aiming for. In using the name Labo M and making a tribute to Dame Nellie Melba, we're really trying to create wines that uh, represent that time, so the bohemian period of mm, the late artistic. 1800s. Mm -hmm. Freedom, artistic, right? Freedom. The pursuit of freedom exactly. and the arts. Creativity. Mm. Creativity. Cre yeah. And I guess alternative lifestyle. Mm. Exactly. So these wines are all in their own way, quite mm. unique, mm -hmm. quite alternative, yep. but elegant and creative. Mm. I'll just quickly in explain each of them and then we'll have a taste and I want to hear your sure. thoughts. Mm. Firstly, a Riesling. Uh, oh, Riesling is very common to Australia, mm. but this is very, quite different to most Australian Rieslings. In a, it's not that bone dry, highly acidic style. It's more a Germanic style. Mm. It's a bit off dry. It's very easy to drink. It's, it's quite sweeter. And therefore, I think it suits a lot of Chinese food particularly mm. well. So ladies, the first one we're tasting is the Riesling. Well, <laughs> but anyway, the first one we're having is the Riesling. Riesling. And as you'll see, when you taste this one and smell it as well, you'll mm. notice it's it's slightly sweeter. Mm. It's that off dry style. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, don't. That's very good. Yeah, because very the, very the, mm. the minerality mm -hmm. is is often a characteristic of reasoning. Of reasoning, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Particularly Australian yeah. reasoning. Give it a little bit uh, more interesting flavour and right. structure. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I remember last year it got a golden award. That's right, we won yeah. China, the yeah. wine in nice. China. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Um, oh. Yeah, it was in that wow. top, mm -hmm. top 100. Mm -hmm. So it was one of the top 100 wines. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Cheers. Which is very exciting. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The second is very unique in that it's a rosé. Um, oh, rosé. Rosé mm. is not really understood in China. Um, in not France. Yet. Not yet. Not yet, that's right. <laughs> it's, it's one of the most drunk beverages in France. Mm. This one though is a Pinot Noir and it must be one of the only ones in the world. Mm. Pinot Noir is not often turned into a rosé, oh. but here we have. So that's what's mm. unique very about unique. this one. Mm. So this is Act uh, 2, Act uh, two. Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, La Bo Shi Mu. La Bo Han. La Bo Han. French. La Bo Shi Mu is my name. The first name is the Bo Shi Mi. Beautiful color. Wow, this color is so beautiful. Yeah. I think more and more uh, girls uh, in China like uh, rosé. Uh, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah. I have lots yeah. of my f uh, female friends and male friends, they all love the wine. Because yeah. it's very easy to drink, especially in summer. Yeah. Uh, you can drink in the afternoon, just drink alone and yeah. hang out with friends also. Yeah. You can have some uh, desserts, uh, some you know, snacks. Yeah. With summer, a glass of this chilled is just beautiful. Mm. Pinot Noir is a grape, has yeah. those beautiful... You will love the taste. Mm. Beautiful floral mm. aromatics. Smooth. Mm. We don't need the food then, we can enjoy the wine. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, ladies. Beautiful. The next one, this is a Pinot Gris. Oh. And friends. Mm. And, and friends. And we've said and friends. friends. Pinot Gris, mm. along with Riesling, mm. Gewürztraminer, mm. and Pinot Blanc. This wine is a blend of predominantly Pinot Gris, but with those three in little proportions that each bring Combination. something Combination. special on there. This is often mostly, most times, my favourite, the oh. Pinot Gris. I think it's a... Pinot Gris itself has a lovely viscous characteristic um, in your mouth. So it's something I think the Chinese would be a ni mm. ni de or ni de mm -hmm. ni de ni. Ni. Oh, ni. Mm -hmm. oh, oily? Mm. We can say oily, but it's mm. just a beautiful mm. viscous mm. feeling in your mouth. Mm. A mouth feel we'd call it. But also it's got some great complexity, just the new aroma. Oh, and the flavor. Very yeah. full. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's you can hear the, the flavor is different. This one is fuller or full, uh, full man. Mm. Yeah, it's a mm. lot, nice mm. mouthfeel. Mm. But it, you can tell the Gewürztraminer brings some exotic flavors, some nectarine, those exotic fruits. Mm. Mm. Um, the Riesling brings a bit more stiffness to it, a bit more acidity. This is just beautiful with, it's such a delicate, elegant, flavor and package that mm. it suits a lot of balanced very well yeah well, that's it it and suits uh, chinese food it, it yeah. has many flavors it yeah. has many flavors you from all the friends from its other friends that's <laughs> right all the <laughs> yeah. but um it would match very well with like seafood cheese. that's it well this wine in cheese. particular i'd say guangdong thai Guangdong is best. Thai, so yeah. you mm. you know your your south, south china elegant flavors a lot of seafood oh, a lot of these i think sandong qingdao is okay yeah well cheers yeah, cheers. Cheers again. The the fourth one is the Syrah Gamay, which could be the only one of its kind in the world. And I don't really? I'm not boasting, oh. but it's very rare to join those two together. Mm. Gamay's the poor cousin. Mm. No, I don't say that disparagingly. No, I just mean Gamay shares Burgundy region with Pinot Noir, and Pinot Noir is very famous. Mm. Very noble, very good Pinot Noir. And then you have this Gamay, huh? Everyone forgets that. Use Gamay, use Gamay, uh, Gamay to create more direction. Oh, direction. Gamay itself is a beautiful grape. It's simple. Mm. It's a very simple grape, but mm. it's got these beautiful florals, aromatics. Mm. It also has this really lovely soft mouthfeel. Mm. So here, when we join it with Shiraz, we're softening the Shiraz further. We're making it very round and soft and we're bringing some beautiful florals to the aroma. So this is very unique. And you all, unique. Mm. Unique. you've both drunk a lot of Australian Shiraz. It's usually very mm. big, very strong. Yeah. Mm. But this, you can tell it's soft, it's velvety, it's mm. like a blanket. It's just a lovely soft wine. Mm. Very, very feminine, I think. Mm. Softened by the winemaker when he made this, it's, he said, "All I want to make is something very drinkable. I want it to be just a lovely wine you can drink." And he was inspired. He and his wife travel to France every year to mm. learn new things, to see mm. what they're doing in Europe. He just said, "I want to make a Parisian bistro red wine, mm. something that you might find in a beautiful bar in Paris." Very accessible. Actually, art is not international. Thank you. 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 Thank you.